We're at uh, Badshot Lee Big Pond, 16 acre lake, very mature, situated between Aldershot and Farnham. 68 swims on the lake, taking in open water swims, snag fishing, there's silty gullies, gravel bars, uh, plateau areas. Depths ranging anywhere between sort of 18 inches up to about sort of five, six foot is probably about the maximum. There's uh, two main car parks that you can use. There are toilet facilities here, fresh running water, so if you need to top up your water butts or anything, you've got all that. There's a, a good hard track that, you know, there's no problem for getting round. Uh, there's good good head of fish in there, you know, running to all, all the good sizes. Carp, cats, bream, perch. There's some serious grass carp in here, certainly into the 30 pound sort of bracket, probably average sizes, high doubles to sort of low 20s. There are also some, some decent tension now. I mean, I think it actually holds the club record and that, and it's, that's definitely the double figures. On the carp angling side, um, sort of average sort of size is 15 pound, up to the sort of high 20s, and maybe one or two surprises still left in there. Tactic wise, it's, it's a brilliant place just to cut your teeth on, trying to get into the carp fishing, testing rigs, um, different methods that you've never tried before because the fish will respond to all methods in the right situation. It's a really good water for trying to bag your first specimen bream. Average size is probably around the sort of five, six pound mark. Definitely going into the double figure size though. Um, there's been numerous doubles caught, mainly by the carp anglers, but some of the, the, the lads that do come down and actually target the bream, massive bags, 100 pound plus bags on regular basis. Catfish running from singles up to extremely big fish, hitting the sort of 70 pound mark. Every week we hear of uh, 40s coming out, you know, there's a real good head of 40 pound catfish, which are a test for sort of any angler. Probably the best people that, you know, the people get the best results out of fishing on the, on the whole venue are the ones who keep the bait going in often, you know, that little and often, almost like a matchman's approach, but maybe beefed up a little bit especially when you're doing the carp angling. That's when I've had my, my best hits of fish. It's, it's, when I've seen other people do exactly the same sort of thing. The most successful people that I've seen on here are the ones who are prepared to put the most amount of effort into it. And, you know, if you don't get a bite within the first sort of three quarters of an hour, redo the rods again. The amount of times that I've had takes within seconds of redoing that rod, that is what sometimes makes the difference between sitting there with a rod bin in the Walk for hours and hours or catching fish on a constant basis you, you're constantly topping up the swim. Coming in from the lower Wayborn Lane into the main car park of the Badger Lee complex we'll walk off along what's called the railway bank. All the way along this bank the, the lake bed is very uniform in sort of depth wise you know after the first 20 odd yards you go out you're sort of looking at sort of five maybe six foot in depth of water. You know, there's not massive changes in depth as you go along this sort of area, but there will be harder, either silty patches or gravel patches, so start to look towards those. There's a good chuck to the middle, so you've got plenty of walk between you and where your boundary of where you're allowed to fish to. A couple more swims in between before we get towards the end of the actual railway bank there. Uh, they are very good areas, you know, good areas for carp. Again, head towards the open water. Top corner, now this, this is one of those swims that quite often gets ignored, but we have a good snaggy tree line corner. Fishing tight up to that tree line corner can be really, really good. Moving along the bank, we go to a swim with some steps that lead down to it, known as the fort swim. Quite shallow out there, there is a, a bar that, as you look out from the swim, that runs off to the left hand side of it. This is a really good area in the summertime for the carp. Moving up into the top corner there, one of these corners where a lot of snags in there. It's one of those areas that if you do ever go out for a, a little bit of a wander sort of thing, take a few bits of bait, some pellet and stuff like that, drop them in the margin and don't be scared to go back and just have a check on them later on in the day. When them fish do move in there, they're quite easy to catch. Moving on from there, we'll be moving on to the old pin. 
first two swims we come to. Probably not fished as much as what they probably should be. There's, there's always a lot of fish out in front of there, but because it's quite tight to the actual pathway, a lot of people tend to sort of leave those alone. So it's definitely worth going in there for a, a day session, without a doubt. Moving on to the next swim up, we'll come up to a, a big double swim. Really good for the, the cats, carp, uh, very good for grass carp as well if you've never caught a grass carp. Next couple of swims start to get to the, the main front part of the old pin. Areas you'd be looking to fish off of the old pin would, for me would be the gravel areas or the silty gullies. You've got both out there so it's up to you to choose which one you think the fish are probably sitting in that comes down to the observation and maybe having a bit of a lead about. Depth wise uh, you're probably looking anywhere between sort of three foot and up to about five foot again you know it's, it's, it's fairly average the whole sort of lake. Moving round to the left hand side of the old pin there's a couple of absolutely cracking swims going out into decent open water a massive great big gravel area almost like a plateau which is constantly visited by fish. Moving right round off the old pin, we'll move into the area known as Dead Bay. Margins all around the, the, the Dead Bay area and the next swim to it, you know, uh, trees to cast to at the back there. You've even got the opportunity of walking around and even handing bait in, so, you know, to save on the actual disturbance of the water. Moving round from Dead Bay, we'll come to the first one of the swims along the bank known as the Dirt Bank. Peg 29, this is one of the ones where I would literally be fishing right under the rod tips. The fish move constantly in and out, going into dead bay, so they are literally under your feet. Moving on, again we're moving into the open water swims. This, this particular bank, again, can be good all year round. It's a couple of swims further up, known as the laurels. The area that you'd be looking to fish from here is, is an area that's about 60 odd yards out. It's, it's a massive, quite big gravel plateau area always full of fish, you know, especially during the summer times. The last few swims that we'll come to are ones that sort of head towards the, the point of the island. Um, a really good area, especially when we have a strong southwesterly blowing towards this corner, you can start to catch them almost under the rod tip again. We're in the uh, low 40 swims here at the moment. Quite often you'll see the, the fish swim, the, the carp swim around the edge of the island, and they are always usually up for a mixer. It's, a, it's quite silty, especially more off towards the left there. Um, obviously under the trees there we have some snags and that, so if you are fishing them, make sure you sit on the rods the whole time. Coming round the bay, we walk into the mid 40 swims. It's a cracking area, big open water. There's a massive gravel bar sort of midway across with a couple of silty gullies that are there. It's about 60, 70 yards, and you'll definitely be in one of them sort of areas that you want to be. Carrying on up the path, we move to a swim which uh, I used to know as the helipad. There's a small bar which is probably about 25 yards out, but then drops away slightly into a, a gully. Moving on to the top end of the wooded area, no big chucks involved. Uh, I've had some good times uh, down in the past fishing for the small stuff just in the margins there, loads of roach, perch, uh, all sorts of things. It's another area where the catfishing is, is, is very, very good, obviously, because of the, the bait fish that are down here. Moving on to the new pin, uh, pegs 54 to 63. There is a point on the right-hand side, which is a seriously good area for, again, all-round species. This would be massive bags of bream come from there. You know, it's one of the areas where, when they do have the, the, the annual match on here, that would be one of the spots that would, the bream mounds would definitely try and sort of head for. The left hand side point is, is, is a really good area, again, for lots of carp. You know, lots of carp sit out in that, that big open water. Gives you a good area to look down that bottom corner of the lake as well, see if there's fish moving down that way. Moving round to the left hand side of the new, the new pin, you have three or four swims along there. Again, these are really good bream areas, you know, it's, it's, you're getting into that deeper water, the bream are quite happy sitting in that sort of area. Walking off the new pin, we'll walk into the, the main car park for the, the whole complex. We have a, a few swims that run right alongside the car park here, which are ideal for disabled access. Um, you know, you basically almost fish out the back of your car, so, you know, if you're up for just a day's 
feeder fishing or just fishing on the float, this is a seriously good area to have a go from. Well, summing up the lake at the, at the end of the day, we're, you know, it's a massively popular mixed fishery. I've fished it for many years now and I probably will carry on for many more years. Well, I've had some brilliant sessions over in the past and whatever, tested out loads of different types of rigs and things like that and I've used that for a lot more in my angling sort of uh, repertoire I suppose. Uh, it's definitely helped me fishing over it.